Hi, this is Rashi. Thank you so much for uh, uh, watching this video. And uh, today we are going to start looking into timing. So we will start it gradually in a very simple way, just like I've been doing. So last uh, lecture or two, they were about standard cell. First, we look into what are the contents of standard cells from the timing point of view and then power point of view. Now, the, the timing content inside the standard cell um, or inside the standard cell library, now we are going to build on that, where it, that is used, why that is used. So this video is going to be on where we are taking, checking sorry, timing and why it is important to check timing. Why it's important to check timing? Hmm. Uh, I think I, I covered that in my uh, sequential videos, but here it is. Um, if you allow all input outputs or all the signal going through different gates within your chip, um you will you won't be able to make some meaningful stuff out of it so what you do is you save a certain states of your design and then at least you know okay this one will be done by this time or that time and then i'm going to use that one so that is the, the quality of synchronous design it's easy to understand and it's you can nicely put uh, things in in a in a sequence of it and that sequence is driven by a clock and clock goes to all the sequential elements like flip-flop like latch um, and those wherever clock goes based on the clock we can use we can store things we can um, temporarily um, keep a track of the state of it and using that state of the logic we can make some decision for each of so the points where really we want we are capturing data or we are storing data all those points are called endpoints and each endpoint we check setup and hold that's important so what are those endpoints this is the terminology used inside the those physical design implementation and verification tool so pretty obvious one is a flip-flop so flip-flop is an end cell the end points are actually the end pins so D is where you're gonna check setup time enable pin you're gonna check setup time and hold time so I will you know keep using setup both setup and hold time definitions I already provided during the CMOS oh no yeah during the CMOS video so please search that and I explain how setup and hold are different but anyway here I'm not going to differentiate between the two and we will look into later on but right now you want to check if the timing uh, if the signal the delay from the previous launch point so there is a start point so there is end point there's a start point of the end point so these are the end points uh, D enable reset you want to check with the signal that arrives the meets setup time of those endpoints or not and the, and the starting points are what starting point here in the flop case is actually clock clock through Q that is your launch point or that's your starting point for the flip-flop case understand so each pin of these input side except clock will have a setup time then another example okay latch i didn't mention but latch exactly same thing latch you will have a d input pin as an endpoint now starting point what is starting point i think there's something i'm going to talk later on too but in the case of in the case of latch this symbol it has d and typically latch here is, is is clock right and there's q so in the case of flip-flop you launch so your starting point is clock and then q because remember whenever clock uh, positive edge or negative edge arrives that's where the signal starts not with respect to d d can come earlier but your actual launching is happens on the positive edge um, this one latch is a different case 
so if it has enable if it has a reset same story so endpoints will be these three so the launch point in this case will be with respect to d okay um, it can also be with respect to ck but generally in, in the timing your your starting point is um, clock arrives um, then data arrives and then queue so it's the, the tr these three play the role together but in flip-flop case only queue and clock plays the role for starting point so you understood these are endpoints so again look at the flip-flop easier simple to understand these are endpoints ck is the start point now what are other examples of endpoints again what we want to measure is set up and hold check at each and every endpoint in our design we want to check that timing so in the case of a macro let's say our memory is a macro it's already finished separately and brought into our rtl or it could be other some bigger design somebody finished an entire pci controller and brought it in that case it will have so many other pins but think of that as an example of memory uh, so um, so address is an input pin of course address will be let's say 16 bit then it will be 16 endpoints here at data if let's say if it's 32 then will be 32 endpoints here so we have write enable so every input pin other than other than clock okay will be an endpoint and we need to check certain the whole time uh, memory same uh, in the case the on the clock if data is launched then this will be involved uh, in the launch as a starting point but another endpoint what else so all the outputs okay so your design has let's say this is your design forgot to draw this before the lesson so you, you, you this is your chip or your block so you have inputs okay then you have output and then typically model as this so you know every output every output is also an endpoint okay and every star input pin together with clock it can be a start point okay understand that one so all these endpoints here here we need to be able to check setup and hold time in our design then let's say you have a nan or on be comes before this or before this then you, you need to make sure we need to make sure that timing to the endpoint let's say i think this is a good example let's say d pin comes here it was something like this right and this then this this one is correct so this one has a b c and d let's say these ones come from flip-flop this one other come from somewhere large right data will be launched from somewhere or other is coming from inputs or coming from a flip-flop or a macro latch or somewhere so what you need to do is what you need to make sure that when tool checks it checks timing through this through this through this this in other words on the fan inside oops on the fan inside of every endpoint whatever the logic is how many combination such you have we need to get timing we need to measure timing I mean when I say get time measure timing, I mean how much delays from here to output from here to here here to here here to here right all the delays through the gates as well as any wire delays those need to be calculated and then added up and then eventually we need to check how much delay come arrives at the deep end from relative to the start point and how much is the setup time and whether we meet timing or not 
with the meat set up maybe we all our requirement for set up around now you understand that so that's the point i want to say here that timing through all combinational and every timing arc of each combination circuit needs to be thoroughly analyzed unless we know that timing on certain sides let's say we have a signal connected here that we know gonna be connected to vcc this signal is not gonna change always one i mean if it doesn't change what's the point of checking a setup time here with respect to this so we will apply some constraint and we will look into how to apply those constraints in that case we know it doesn't happen but by default if we don't know every cell and every timing arc needs to have need to be measured okay and all these things are measured this is not possible through your dynamic simulation uh, through waveforms that you see in during rtl for this we have a static analysis tool sda okay. so we are learning right now sda so, so sda is basically basically mathematically you calculate through you figure out every arc every node in your design and then you calculate um, delay through that then add up delays so it's a very thorough mathematical checking okay so yeah that's it for today we will look into further concepts of timing and every timing starts with some timing arcs clocks and all that so we will be looking into each and everything all right thank you bye